All right, so now that the cat is finally out of the bag, or I guess in this case, the fox is out of the bag. What I'm saying is now that Kurama's death has finally been adapted in the anime, I can freely talk about it. I got a lot of shit I want to say about Kurama and why his death was so meaningful to the franchise as a whole, and also just some things about the anime adaption specifically, so we're gonna do all that in today's video. So yesterday I watched Boruto episode 218 and I have to say an anime hasn't made me cry that much in a while. I don't think I've been that sad since, like, the end of Shippuden. Obviously, I already knew this was coming because I read it in the manga, like, last year, but I just knew that the anime was going to hit me way harder because you got the sad music, you can hear the pain in Naruto's voice, see the expressions change on his face, and then, of course, there's all the stuff that the anime changed and added that made it just way more painful. When I read it in the manga, I was sad, but like, I didn't tear up or anything. It was just like, damn, that's sad. But man, the anime fucked me up. The waterworks were flowing last night. I won't bother doing much of a comparison between the manga and the anime, but just go read the manga version of it and you'll see how the anime outdid it in every way imaginable. Anyways, Kurama. I can feel my eyes starting to get watery just thinking about it. I would say that this is the most impactful death in the entire franchise so far. Obviously, different ones may have hit different people harder, but I'm specifically talking about what Kurama means to the Naruto franchise as a whole. He's the most important character we've ever lost. In Naruto Episode 1, in the opening scene, the very first character you ever lay eyes on is Kurama. He's then with Naruto every step of the way, for better or for worse, and because of that, for those of us who grew up watching Naruto, in a way, Kurama has always been with us too. I met Kurama when I was 10 years old. 16 years ago. That's a long time. And despite already reading it in the manga, I think one of the many reasons the anime hit me harder is because this would truly mark the last time we'll see him. Unless, of course, you rewatch the series, but you know what I mean. This is truly Kurama's last appearance. And no, I don't think he'll be coming back. Baryon mode is an exception to most of the rules regarding Tailed Beasts. Because they are made of chakra, normally they would reform after some time, but in this case, Baryon mode burns that chakra away, and so there is no chakra left to reform. I think it's pretty clear that this is a final goodbye. But like I was saying, Kurama has been a part of my life for 16 years, and Watching that episode, it really made me feel like I was saying goodbye to a friend. I think it's crazy the impact fictional characters can have on us. How connected we can feel to someone who doesn't really exist. Ultimately, that's why I'm so passionate about Naruto and anime in general. There's more to these stories than just entertainment. A lot of people all over the world have a deep emotional connection to Naruto and its characters, or even other series for that matter, and whether the character is real or not, saying goodbye to them hurts all the same. I think the moment for me that really made the tears start coming was when Naruto said, you were always with me. In a way, we're more than brothers. Come to think of it, we've been together ever since I was born. And then it shows Kurama's eye looking at Naruto as he remembers back, and it shows Naruto at all the stages in his life. At this point, Naruto thinks he and Kurama are both dying, so this isn't really a goodbye for Naruto. But Kurama knows that this would be the last time for a while that he would see him. This boy that he watched grow up, the one who freed him from his hatred. This would be the last time they would speak, and you can tell that Kurama is going to miss him. Naruto had become Kurama's closest friend, and this was finally the end of the road for them. Him and Naruto sit there and reminisce, and the scope of their journey really hits you at this point. Kurama was really there for every mission, every battle, every hardship, every step Naruto took towards his dream of becoming Hokage. Kurama was always right there with him, and the prospect of him not being there anymore going forward is heartbreaking. It feels like the end of an era. It was a long journey that they both knew would eventually come to an end. The final chapter of Naruto and Kurama's story is over. And I can't even begin to describe how that feels as someone who's been watching Naruto for most of my life. Kurama then says, Naruto, I've really enjoyed my time together with you. And they do one last fist bump. 
And this is so meaningful because the fist bump symbolizes their partnership that they didn't always have. It symbolizes the way Naruto was able to free Kurama from his hatred and become his friend. And that's really why Kurama's death is so beautiful. It highlights the change in him that Naruto was able to spark. When we first meet Kurama, he is portrayed as this demon fox, destroying the leaf village and full of nothing but anger and hate. And it's beautifully ironic how in the beginning he just wanted to destroy and he hated the shinobi world for what they had done to him, treating him like a weapon and never calling him by his name. He hated the world in the beginning, and in the end, he died to save it. And that's all because of Naruto. I think that's truly the most important thing about his death. It shows the change that Naruto was able to bring about in the world. The change in Kurama from when he's first introduced to when he dies is one of Naruto's greatest accomplishments, alongside becoming Hokage, breaking the Uchiha's curse of hatred, ending the eternal conflict of Indra and Ashura, and bringing peace to the shinobi world. Changing Kurama's heart is right up there with all of that in my opinion. Now, if this scene wasn't heartbreaking enough already, it gets even worse when Naruto says, let's stay together in the afterlife too, okay? You've always been with me since I was born. Because, like I said, Naruto doesn't know that this is goodbye. Kurama just sits there in silence for a moment before breaking the news to Naruto that it would only be Kurama passing on to the afterlife. The pain in Naruto's face when he realizes that he and Kurama have to go their separate ways is almost unbearable to watch. Naruto never had parents growing up, and yes he had Iruka and Kakashi and Jiraiya and everyone else he met along the way, but if there was one person who probably felt most like family to Naruto, it's Kurama, the one who was at his side since the day he was born. It just hurt a lot to see Naruto have to lose someone so close to him. Again, first Jiraiya and now Kurama. And then the anime just had to play a montage of Naruto and Kurama throughout the series that made me cry even harder. And at the very end, Naruto screaming Kurama and then saying, don't go. That broke me. What an incredibly beautiful send off for a character who many of us grew up with. I think they really did it justice. And I think what made it even more beautiful was when Naruto was reaching out for Kurama and he wakes up to Boruto grabbing his hand and saying dad. As if to say, Kurama may be gone, but Naruto is not alone. He still has his family. Kurama looked after Naruto for his whole life, but now Naruto has people he needs to look after. His family, the village, Boruto, Kawaki, just a simple shot of Boruto grabbing his hand symbolizes all of that, and I think it's a perfect way to end the episode. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on about this anymore. It was an absolutely beautiful death, and haters are going to try to tell you that Boruto is trash because they killed off Kurama, but just remember how much this death really means to the franchise. It symbolizes Kurama's character coming full circle. A demon who at first wanted to destroy the world ended up being the one who saved it. I can't think of a more perfect conclusion for Kurama's life. Not to mention the Naruto anime first aired on October 3rd, 2002, and like I said, the first character you see is Kurama, and episode 218 also falls on October 3rd, 19 years later. So the first and last time we see Kurama will be on the same date on Naruto's anime anniversary. And I gotta give props to the anime studio for making that happen. You can really tell that they cared about giving Kurama a proper send off and I, I really respect that. Anyways, leave a like for Kurama, subscribe if you're new to the channel for more Naruto and Boruto content, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.